Hi there, welcome back to Houston DIY. My name is Ben. So this is another flipper uh, video. Um, so really simple one this. Forget about the garage door thing for now because that were a disaster. Um, so really simple one. So what I'm going to do is connect up this TV remote, which is a Bush TV remote for my daughter's bedroom, but my son's bedroom, so Matilda, my son's but Oliver. He's got a Bush TV as well. So I'm hoping the same power one will work on both TVs. So we'll program that up. I've also got some old energy near uh, 433 megahertz plugs with that. So what I'll do is I'll program a couple of these buttons into the flipper as well. So let's flip down to the desk camera now. So we don't need them for now because they just plug into the wall. But they're there. So on the flipper, let's go for it. So down, go down to uh, IR, because obviously the remote controls IR. You've got the universal remote in there, but you can learn new remotes. So I'm gonna do learn new remote. So if I just put it there, like so, and press the power button, it literally beeped, got the code on the screen. I can have a retry, send or save. So send sends it obviously to the device, but save, I wanna save it. So I'll just do it. I'll leave it as RC5 underscore OC. I can rename that at some point. Save that. Okay. So I've got it there. So I'll leave that as that. Um, so that's a remote control program. What I'll do next is if I go up to sub gigahertz, um, get my remote control. I'm going to go down to frequency analyzer first. So I press something on there. I can see that it's the, it's jumping to 433.9. Let go, same for them all. So if I go back, go up to read. I'll do number two on this remote. So I press number two. So it beeped, came up with Princeton and the code. So I'm gonna save that as, I'll just save it as two for now, just to do it so it's quick, so number two. And then I'm gonna go back, oops, go back there. Exit there. Read again and press number two off. So that's two off. Press that, save that. Two off. Save that, that's saved. Exit. Let me just check the save. So I've got two, and the little garage one I tried. Two, which is number two on, on that button there. Two on. And then that two off is number two off. So we'll go and plug one of these into the wall. Program up as number two. See if we can get that working and see if we can turn off, um, turn off, well, turn on and off the kids' TVs. Okay, let's do that now. Okay, so come with me into the bedroom. So this is Matilda's room right now. So let me flick it around. Matilda's TV's up there. So sometimes she'll use a remote control up there and we have to reach up, find the remote control, don't we, Oliver? Yeah. And it's a pain in the bum. So Oliver, if you can do me a favor first, mate, use a remote control to turn, that one, to turn the telly on, just to show that, that is the remote for the telly. So Oliver's pressed it, it's coming on. There we go, TV's on. So you come back now, Oliver, and turn it off again with the remote control. Oliver's done that one with the remote. Okay, so now I've got the flipper. I am going to go to infrared remote two. I think it's this one. Running app. RC5. Oh, see that one? So I'm going to press it to run it. And the TV is coming on. Oliver's not pressed the remote. Yeah, I haven't pressed it. I've just done it on there. So Oliver, in fact, let's just prove it. Go put the remote down at the side. So Oliver's not got the remote. There it is. I'm gonna press it again, and that should turn it off. Yes, it has done. Okay, so that's working on that one. So we're going to Oliver's room. Okay, flipper into Oliver's room now. So we've got Oliver, show your hands. No remote control, woo! There's Oliver's telly, just about to go on PlayStation. So I'm going to put this here. We haven't tested this yet, so let's give it a go. So I'm going to press it. There we go, TV off. It's pretty cool, isn't it, Oliver? 
Yeah. And then we'll flick it back up for him so he can get on with his PlayStation. Press it again, and it's back on. Awesome, so that works really easily. So that's the Bush. All oh, Oliver's remotes there, look. The black ones. So they're both Bush TV, so obviously use the same code. Awesome. Right, we'll try out the um, Energenic uh, plugs now. Cheers, Oliver. Okay, down in the kitchen, I thought I'd best do it down here. So let me flip round. Show you. So I've got a plug here, so let's unplug this. So this is the Energena, so there. I'll plug it in, not switch it on yet. Like so. Put this down here and show you. So, I've got the flipper, I've got the remote. I'm going to go into sub gigahertz. I'm going to go to read. I want to press two on. Um, and save. Oh, actually, we've already saved this. I do apologize. So if I go exit there, saved, I've got two and two off. So if I switch this on now, so I've not pre programmed this, so this should just flash. I'm open. Yeah, so it's ready for us to program it. So if I press number two. There we go, so it's picked it up. So if I press, there we go. So if I do that, so that's two, it's switching that on now. So if I go back on the flipper to two off, emulate, send, it should click it off now. Awesome. Okay, so if I go back to the main menu on the flipper and go down, I've got it there quickly to do. So if I do two, Turns it on, down again, two off, send, turns it off. That's on the flipper, so if I get the remote, obviously it's the same thing on the remote, so I'll show you, so press two, and then two off. Just leave the remote up there. Go back to the flipper, go up to two, we're in app, send, there we go, flipped it on. Uh, down to there, two, off, send, off. Awesome. Okay, thank you for watching. Hopefully that video was useful. I also showed you on my flipper how to learn uh, a TV remote control power button, how to then use that power button, obviously, in the real life with your TV. Um, we then got the Energini old uh, 433 megahertz um, plugs and the remote control. Learn the code for the number two. Use that code on that plug. That works really well. So that gives a couple of simple, really simple ideas on how to use it. Um, obviously, if you, with the TVs, I guess you could use it in your own house if you lost your remote control, something like that. Uh, that works really well. So if you like the video, um, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. If you've got any ideas on what I can try out in my own house that I've not really thought of, because I'll try to think of different things I can do, Drop it in the comments. I'll give it a go, see if I can get it working. Um, and if you want to follow along, please subscribe. Okay, thank you.